CITV has just announced it is shutting down on September 1st. This, along with CBBC shutting down, soon means the end of free children's TV channels in Britain. Yes, there's still Pop, Cartoon Network, Cartoon Nito, Sky TV, and Boomerang. But all of those are either pay to watch, not British shows, or they just show reruns 24 seven. I have seen people online saying they are not going forever and they're just going to streaming services, but that's not the same with having live TV. There are no more presenters in between the shows. Hacker the dog is going to have to retire and live on a farm. ITV and BBC said the reason they are closing down the channel is that children don't watch TV anymore. And in my opinion, that is completely understandable that they don't watch TV anymore. They don't have any new original shows. Somehow there are four Tracy Beaker shows. The original Tracy Beaker, Dumping Ground, Tracy Beaker Returns, and the new one with a child. There might even be more. They're just remaking and rebooting everything. There's nothing new, fresh or original. Of course kids are bored. And a good majority of the shows on CITV are not even British. The only show ITV said they are going to continue making, definitely, is The Rubbish World of Dave Spud. That's the only one they confirmed. That's how little shows they are making. After hearing this sad news, I decided I wanted to make a video talking about incredible shows that CITV brought us throughout its years. Such as Horrid Henry which is an animated show based off a series of books of the same name. The show is about this 11 year old boy called Henry who all the adults in the show call horrid. Half the times in the show the adults were overreacting. Henry was just doing normal kid things and they just hated children. His parents would get mad and go why can't you be more like perfect Peter? And we all know what a great parenting method pitting your kids against one another is. They're not going to grow to hate each other at all. We also have the character of Rude Ralph, who is Henry's best friend and second in command of the Purple Hand Gang. He is not that rude in my opinion. Speaking of the Purple Hand Gang, it was a club full of Henry's school friends. When I was younger, I wanted to be in that club so badly, but they have a no girls rule. So my only option in that show was the secret club run by Moody Margaret, but I didn't want to hang out with her. She has Moody in her name. That did not seem like a fun time. My childhood dreams were crushed. There was also a Horrid Henry live action movie, which I did not like that much. A question I had about the show, why does everyone always have a red nose? When I was younger, I thought they were all constantly Ill. Horrid Henry ran from 2006 to 2019 with five seasons owned by CITV until 2019 when they sold the show to Nickelodeon. My Parents Are Aliens is a live action that followed the wacky antics of three orphans Mel, Josh and Lucy who get adopted by this alien couple who crash landed on earth. The whole show is about the kids teaching their new parents to fit into human society so that they don't get found out and get taken by the government and they do horrible horrible experiments experiments on them. I have vivid memories from when they changed the mum from the blonde haired one to the red haired one. I like the red haired mother more personally. In the show she used ice cream to transform and then one time she just couldn't transform back and somehow no one outside the family noticed it was a different woman. They all just thought she dyed her hair. The show ran from 1999 to 2006 having eight seasons. The first seven seasons with Barker family, Mel, Josh and Lucy. In season eight they tried it with a new family, the Bennets, but it got cancelled. The next CRTV shows that I loved deeply was Mr Bean. Mr Bean was an animated show that ran for three seasons with 103 episodes. The first two seasons ran from 2002 to 2004. Then season three was from 2015 to 2019. The show stars Mr Bean and his best friend Teddy going around town living his day-to-day -day life and somehow he infuriates everyone he comes into contact with. Mr Bean has a girlfriend who has a Teddy called Lottie who she ships with Mr Bean's Teddy. This Teddy can get a girlfriend but you can't get a text back. Embarrassing. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to be vulnerable and tell you guys a secret. I did used to think the animated show came before the live action show. In my defence I was 10 and all the other animated shows that had live action about them the animated show came first, so I just noticed a pattern and made an assumption. We have Grizzly Tale for Gruesome Kids for all the lovers of horror. Grizzly Tale for Gruesome Kids is an animated show that was one of my favourites. This show did give me nightmares, but it was totally worth it in my opinion. The show was based on a children's book series of the same name. All the episodes started with this creepy man in a theatre and his pet spider and he was talking to the audience and then he goes to tell you about a horrifying tale that's meant to teach you about morals. The episode that sticks in my mind is Tom 
some time there's this boy who is always late and then for some unknown reason the earth is in danger and everyone needs to leave he ends up missing the space shuttle that will take him to the safety of the moon when the earth explodes again i don't know why and because he missed that because he was late he then dies on earth after everyone else including his parents left him in his parents defense they did try and wake him up on time they did hire a marching band and shoot cannons to wake him up but he just refused to get up and that is why i'm always punctual because of that episode on citv it ran for six seasons between the year 2000 and 2006 for 78 episodes and then it was sold to nickelodeon what a shocker a lot of their shows were sold to nickelodeon then we have jungle run the tv show not to be confused with the game Temple Run. It was the only game show I liked to watch. Set in a mythical jungle ruled by the Jungle King. They weren't very creative with names. The goal of the show was to complete different challenges to win the treasure from the Temple of the Jungle King. You have to complete all these challenges whilst these two monkeys would throw stuff at you. These two monkeys haunt my dreams. Sometimes they chase me, like in the game Temple Run. I truly deeply believe that if I was on the show, I would have won. Based on absolutely nothing, I have little to no athletic skills. The show ran for eight seasons from 1999 to 2006 with 99 episodes. So they have had over five different shows, the first one being in 1955 called The Sooty Show. This little puppet is more British than the royal family. Sooty on our money 2024. But I'm not talking about the 1995 show today. Today I'm going to be referring to the 2011 show Sooty. Not to be confused with 2001 show Sooty. So creative with the names over here. This show starred Sooty, Sweep and Sue doing antics such as Sweep being scared of the water and this guy Richard teaching him to swim. I think swimming is a reasonable fear for a puppet I'm made of cotton. That is not a great mix. The reason I mentioned this version in particular is I aired on Mini CRTV. Mini CRTV being CRTV's shows aimed at younger audiences. Typically aired early in the morning when older kids would have been in school. This segment of time was hosted by a spaceman called The Minis. My Faux Genie. I vividly remember this show but anytime I mention it to someone they look at me like I'm insane so I'm including it in this video for future reference. My Faux Genie was a show about this girl called Jazz who accidentally downloaded a genie when she was trying to download a new ringtone. The genie is a teenage boy and ends up going to school with them and always gets them into trouble as shown here. I tried to get more references for this but it is incredibly hard hard to find anything about the show but from my memory I enjoyed the show just gonna have to trust me on that it was made in collaboration between CITV and ZDF which is a German channel it had only one season with 26 episodes and they all aired in 2012 I was so sad this show got cancelled now we're going to be jumping back before CITV CITV wasn't always CITV it used to be called children's ITV and when it went by that name it didn't even have its own channel it was just a time slot between 4 to 5 p.m on regular ITV in the 80s. Some big names in British entertainment came from shows shown in the children's ITV time slot, such as Willow Willoughby and Stephen Mohan on Ministry of Mayhem, and the show Saturday Morning TV on children's ITV brought us well-known entertainers like Ant and Depp, Tess Daly, and also Stephen Mohan. He was very busy, apparently. It became its own channel in 2006, playing shows that already aired on children's ITV's time slot, such as Jungle Run, My Parents Are Alien, and Mr. Bean. The only new show that I previously mentioned in this video were Horrid Henry and My Faux Genie. The majority of CRTV's most popular shows were all just reruns from before the channel even existed. This was mostly due to budget. They didn't have as much as other British children's TV channels, such as the CBBC, which came out in 2002. And none of CRTV's big shows were as big as CBBC. Sarah Jane Adventures and Tracy Beaker Returns were two shows that reached either a million concurrent viewers or it almost reached a million, where CRTV, most of their high rate shows were in 100,000. I've seen a lot of people debating why CRTV is shutting down. Here's the reasons I think that CRTV and kids into 
entertainment is going downhill. CITV has a tendency to sell a lot of their popular shows, such as Art Attack, Horrid Henry, and many more. No wonder kids stop watching if they just replayed the same 10 shows. It was not like they were pioneering new forms of child entertainment. A majority of the shows I watched as a kid were either British shows or American shows. And as they all declined in both quality and quantity of new kids' shows, of course kids are gonna go straight to streaming services. I understand that most kids are watching streaming services, but not all of them. To me, it seems like they're shooting themselves in the foot for the future. If they're not trying to get kids to watch cable TV now, they're not gonna watch it in 10, 20 years. I do think giving up on live TV for kids doesn't seem like a smart move. In 10, 20 years, the only live TV it's gonna be on in the UK will be Countdown and the news. With the death of both CBBC and CITV, there's nothing for British kids to watch if they don't have streaming services. It's just truly the end of the era. That's it for this video. If you'd like to tell me your favourite CITV show, please leave it in the comments. That will be all for today. Goodbye!